Thank you, uh, Madam President. I uh, rise to um, for point of personal privilege. Please do. Comments, thank you. I, I too also want to um, say that I am disappointed that uh, our constituents aren't able to access the gallery and see what is happening today because we, we represent people, the citizens of Arizona. We represent, they are mothers, they are fathers, students. We represent them. This is the public's, this is the, the people's house. And right now, there's not an angry mob out there. There is um, mostly mothers, mostly young women, students out there in 100 degree plus heat. And we're sitting in here um, denying them uh, a chair, denying them air conditioning, and denying them restrooms. That's what we're doing to these folks. And we can stand here with the AC going on us and use the restroom anytime we want while people, we're giving people a hard time outside. And I'm sure there's people suffering outside, but they've suffered more than this before. So we can go back and say, oh, watch, watch this from the convenience of your home. But a lot of people don't have electricity. They don't have running water. I know teachers in my district that do not have electricity, do not have running water. And they're out there traveling dirt roads, putting wear and tear on their vehicles taking care of our children and our communities. And they might be here visiting from great distances from all over Arizona. And, and to de deny them any kind of comfort is like somebody journeying to, to your house. And I was taught growing up, when somebody comes to visit you, you offer them a cup of coffee. You offer them something to eat. And that is the most very basic respect we could be giving our, our Arizonans our, and our teachers. And I think um, I am, I'm truly embarrassed of um, how we're treating our people. And you know, we, we have these lengthy discussions and I just feel like really basic human respect is going out the door for, for politics and out of fear. You know, people can point fingers at us now and say, I'm not wearing a mask. I wore a mask for over a year. I just finally took it off because I've been vaccinated and because I've buried people. So, you know, pointing the finger across the aisle. We are literally divided in this body right now. And it becomes more and more um, more and more unacceptable as we allow fear and the need for political power and one-upsmanship to allow us to make us feel like this is how we can treat other human beings. So it's truly an embarrassment here today. And I hope and I beg for the forgiveness of the people outside and for all teachers and all Arizonans that have been denied access to this building today and every other day that they're turned away. Madam President, 